I guess we'll start like right here. Absolutely, it's gonna be your hygiene. You have to know how to brush your teeth, kind of wipe your own ass, right? <laughs> Things of that sort. Things I shouldn't have to tell you you need to do, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, All right, what about you? Have you encountered many men who don't know how to wipe their ass? <laughs> <laughs> wait, how'd you find out? <laughs> <laughs> oh, when I do their laundry. Okay, there you go. Oh, girl. Thanks, mom. Wow. If, you, if you give them enough GHB, they just poop on themselves. Isn't that right? Is that what you told me? Is that what you told me? Summer? <laughs> Summer? <laughs> what about you? Uh, hygiene is a big one for me. Rose, give her that okay. mic. And uh, yeah. Summer, take that mic. Yes, All right. Uh, okay, when you say hygiene, can you tell us an example? Specific. From a date? Yeah, like brush your teeth, please. Mm -hmm. Always brush your teeth. Before what if they you smell like weed? Date. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's totally fine. Yeah. I don't mind that. Okay. okay. <clears throat> what about you? So for me, I think it would be like poor communication skills and social skills. Like, how does he communicate with his peers and other people? Like, mm. but how mm -hmm. would you get to know that if you don't go on a first date with him? Well, I've been on a first date with him. Poor <laughs> communication skills. Yeah, but you won't know until you're on the date with him, right? Yeah. True. Okay. So what disqualifies them from the first date then? Let me come back to you. What about you? Um, question: Are we already on the first date? It's no, like like, it, like you're not even gonna give them a chance. Yeah, oh, okay. at all. Oh, oh. Ooh, that's hard because I usually. Okay. Um... <laughs> he can only squat four plates. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> yeah, like what's an automatic disqualifier? That first thing that comes to mind. Um, sometimes if they're a little too sexual at first without, okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'd say the same. If he tries to kiss uh, you. And sexual with a little bit of like too much, de like being demanding a little bit of like disrespect. Mm. Okay. Yeah. What yeah, about you? If he tries to kiss you, like, no. That would imply but, uh, you're on the first date. They usually want to. And but wait, 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 wait. That, that, should... that implies that you're on the first date already. We're talking about before. Yeah, you... no, in a first date, they will like try to. No, like... no, no, before so, the first date. Let's, the first let's date. clarify. Before you even get on the date, the guy won't actually. Oh, the they, date. They, they, okay. How do you just say um, no? Disqualified. Not even going on a date at all. Yeah, I mean, if they start asking about like your friends, like, oh, can you bring a friend? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Then you'll be like, bye. Okay. So bringing two girls. They usually always do. Yeah. Talk they, about their friends. They, they tell you to bring a friend? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, can you bring friends? That's now, a hold on, hold on. But hold on. That, is it to bring a friend so that they can bring a friend too and it's a double date? Or bring a friend so he could take you and your friend out? Maybe. But, you know, guys try to just... Which one is it, though? Wh whichever one. You, you it could be, I mean, threesome. I don't really go on first dates like that. Like, I don't do blind dates. But I think if it was like that, usually, like, guys, when you're texting and stuff, mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, and you have friends or something like that. Mm -hmm. And it's like... That's it. You just stop talking to them. Okay. All right. Hey, lady, I have a question. Uh, what about if he doesn't like it when you rip his shirt off in the middle of the okay, nightclub? Okay, you have to bring that up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do that anymore. <laughs> what about, what what about, about you? you? Just I biting. Like, uh, what about biting random people sorry, in a nightclub? I was a little bit, a little wild. Dude, she, 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 you see, it was famous. You go out in the clubs, and just rip dude shirts off and just fucking run. It was a lot. I had like this weird power. Before, it, it was like, <laughs> that's hilarious. Bro, that's crazy. <laughs> imagine it was amazing. I would pay to see and that. I always used to pick the ones that had the most expensive shirts. <laughs> you be in jail. The funny guy. thing is, that's not a date. That's not a deal breaker for the guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they'll be like, please, but no, they like it. Wow. All right. Uh, what about you? So immediate disqualifiers. Yeah. If I'm looking on a dating app at mm -hmm. someone, it's going to be image based most likely. So it's going to be someone who's either really out of shape, or someone who has you know a lot of balding going on, and someone who probably doesn't have. You don't have to have a ton of swag, but if you don't know how to dress yourself, you look. Um, like you haven't left your mom's house in several <laughs> years, it's a disqualifier. What if, what if he supports Trudeau? That's what I was going to say. His physical fitness is probably oh, well, one of his If he shape, supports Trudeau, yeah. he's immediately out. I'm Canadian, so yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. If he supports oh, Trudeau, that's well, that's. So, oh, so actually, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. You yeah. know, if someone, so I don't like to paint a broad stroke over all people because I think some people, you know, might have certain things that are stronger in some aspects. And so, if someone was a liberal, hypothetically, I'm not, but. And they were really strong in other areas. For example, they're really successful or really high achievers or very good looking. Potentially, I'd give them a chance. So I wouldn't say that's an immediate disqualifier. It's a, it's not a, it's not a green flag. Um, but yeah, image based. And then in person, it just made me think. I was uh, walking my dog the well, other hold day. Hold on, hold on. This is just the first yeah, disqualifier. First oh, okay. uh, what about you? <laughs> For me, it would have to be like overly bragging about themselves. Talking, In their bio? Yeah, yeah, or even when you're communicating with them. and Text, it's phone call, always, try hard. Yeah, it's always about just them Thirsty. and their story. Being or, a porn star, do you get that like a lot? I do. 
Mm. I do. I, well, it's, you know. They want to prove to they you. They want to prove that they're that, 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 guy. that guy. Okay. No. Understandable. Okay. What, what about you? you? Um, I think that personality is a big thing. Like, if they come across way too uh, strong, that's kind of a big withdrawal. Describe strong. What like, I'm that? just overexcited to talk to you and try to take oh. you out and stuff like that. All right, Aggressive. too much interest. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, what about you? No sense of humor. No sense of humor. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, what well, are you gonna like? Like, if you make a joke and they don't like laugh or something like that? No, that they need they, to make jokes. They need to make the jokes. I like they need to entertain funny. you. But you're a comedian, right? Yeah, so I need to laugh too. Are you funny? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on the person. Some people think I'm funny, some people think I don't. I'm not. Okay. What Sorry. about you? I'd say uh, basic bad grammar, too skinny, oh. gang of kids, and how many women they follow in their follow uh, list. Damn. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Bad grammar, awesome. kids, and follow ratio. That's a white expression. Yeah. yeah. Roll uh, and. Start real quick. What are them for you? Disqualifiers. Uh, disqualifier for me would be um, just like sort of. It's so funny because it's like the girls I'm friends with are the exactly the girls I would never fucking date. <laughs> like I love them. They're hilarious. I love having them on my show. They make a great show. Yeah. But uh, you know, just like full of fucking red flags, like bragging about like levels of independence and a necessity to not have, <laughs> not need a man at all. Being independent is fine, but it's just like one of these things where like men are useless. Or something uh, like that, yeah. or or just basically when you have a conversation with them about like, hey, you know, you're more likely to cheat if you if you fuck more guys before you got married, and they disagree, they start yelling at you because of that, like that type of shit. I think that's a, a huge dis- disqualifier. Just they don't bring any peace. All right, Rolo, she's overweight. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> oh, damn. No. no, I mean as far as because uh, uh, physical I, fitness. Well, I think it's funny because like that's a big one for me. Yeah. Yeah. People always say, oh, you can't judge a book by its cover, but it's like, yeah, but so you've got to see what the cover is, right? So right. I mean, I hate to say, it, but I mean. I'm just being honest. Like you can it's, judge its caloric intake by the cover. Exactly. It I mean, because it says lifestyle. a lot about your habits yes. too. Like if you're if you're if you're in shape, that tells me that you like have some sort of dedication and perseverance. Because it take. I mean, especially today, it's like seventy five percent of the population is overweight. So all right, I got a question for the ladies. Real quick.